Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. And uh, as we're all traveling out here, if you're traveling, please be safe, folks. Uh, No drinking, no driving. Have a lot of fun out here. Always do your best. And this is, this is, oh, I love this card. And this is a great card to kick into the whole weekend, kick into Christmas, New Year's, whatever celebration you're celebrating. I wish you have, have an awesome one, folks, okay? Doing your best means to take action on your ideas. Many great ideas, you, you can have many great ideas in your head, but without action upon an idea, there'll be no manifestation, no results, and no reward. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 277, Nasdaq's up 141, S&Ps are up 38, gold contract up $8, trading at 1810, silver up 13 cents, 22 dollars 93 cents an ounce, light sweet crude up a buck, $73.80 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note down seven ticks, trading 130.16, the 30-year off 26, down 26, at 160.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down uh, 51 ticks, trading out here at a price point of one of uh, 96.025. The Euro is at 113, the Yen's at 114.45, and the British Pound's at 134 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. And there's no doubt, if you just heard the update, this is a classic, man. Now, that being said, when I say a classic, what I'm saying specifically is this, that we've been talking about this consolidation that I think that we're in. You know, we came down hard in the S&P, turned right around. We're going up, tremendously lighter volume. It hasn't hit the high yet. My take is it's going to hit the high. And my take also, folks, this is where this gets really tricky, man. When this gets too easy, I, this is my own perception right now, that the volume has contracted so dramatically, I'm saying to myself, you know what, man, anyone that really does price in volume, this is almost too easy, man. I mean, um, meaning that, oh yeah, it's gonna go up the top, it's gonna fail, and then it's gonna go downtown. So what you're hearing off of me is that if you're gonna sell this after it's testing, uh, just be patient because it's almost looking to me that what we'll probably end up doing is this. Because what happens is this, you know, when you've seen all these different markets, like, you know, we talk about this a lot. I, I can definitely teach, you know, the out of time in the trade, price and volume, the different uh, technical setups that are there. You got to remember we're, we're in the probability business. What you can't teach is that you've seen these different types of setups. And so what happens is that when you do see these different types of setup over the course of years, it helps. The reason it helps is that you just get more familiar with them. And it doesn't mean that you're gonna be right on what you're thinking, but it, it is a lot easier. And in this particular case here, it's like, okay, you know, well, hey, we'll see where it's going. That's the, that's the bottom line. My take right now, it's gonna hit the high, and I think where my head's really going, I think you're going to spike the high in a big way. So what that means is this. A spike, it, let's say next week you can start going sideways a bit. I think they're going to run this more than likely right into the New Year's. And you got to remember something. We are open five days next week. And I've seen this happen. And it's like, okay, you get, we get five more days, man. This is, this is not going to just lay at the highs. I think, you know, the more I keep thinking about it, it's like, I think they're going to basically take that high out in the S&P. And if that's what they do, meaning all of us in general, then what you want to do is this. If we, I'm bringing up the NDX 100. I get the, the free cues up, right? The contraction's huge. If that's what happens with the S&P, then just stay calm, stay patient, because the cues will go to the high. They, one will catch up with the other. That's kind of how it shakes out. Gold, gold contract is going to be interesting with the gold contract because what we have out here is that um, the bottom line is that the market's closed tomorrow. So liquidity wise, we are talking about the aspect that you are going to, we're going to close this afternoon and it's really not going to get liquid till Sunday night at six o'clock. You know, we got gold running out at 1810. Um, you know, bottom line is that, uh, 
you know, it took out the lower part of the consolidation, even got, got above it. Now the real question is going to be, can it get some juice behind it? Because it's going to need juice behind it to basically get into this day of the 22nd of uh, November. You know, what, what we do have on physical gold and physical silver is pretty cool. And what it is is this, folks, okay, is that when the markets, you know, you got to remember something. When we, when we take a look at the metals market and we're talking about the futures, that's exactly what it is. It's the paper market, buying and selling. When you try to go out right now and buy any type of coins, the, the premium on coins right now, and I'm talking about the premium for me that is, is even, you know, I can basically get them as close to wholesale as possible, is like over $100. So even though we trade at 1810, if I try to go out and get 10, 20, 30 eagles, okay, the bottom line is that the, I checked last night. Last night, the guy wanted a buck 10 over it. And, you know, here's the kicker. And he doesn't have any right now, but he can get them. I mean, I've been doing business with this guy forever, okay? But that's a heads up. That's definitely a heads up. What's really a heads up, so listen to this part of it. This is even crazier, that the bars that normally don't have a, a huge premium have a $75 premium. So most times when that happens, you will see the aspect that um, we are going to go a lot higher in gold because that's how it happens, meaning that you, you have the paper gold, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, trading the futures, the whole ball of wax. But then when you're trying to get there physically, you can't get it. You can get it, but they're going to make you pay up. So I suspect that's where this whole thing's going, meaning higher. And it's very possible that it's going to be the good U.S. dollar, okay, that's going to basically make that happen for us. Um, you know, th this dollar is still, bottom line, you know, one day it looks like it wants to go to the highs. Next day it's like, okay, you know, it gives it up again. And the question about the, the premium in silver, the premium in silver, so check this out. The premium in silver is 23%. You know, if you're going to buy silver, folks, the bottom line, I wouldn't buy the silver. I'd buy the SLV. It doesn't make any sense because you'll never make any money on it, okay? You get a 23% uh, premium on the way in. I mean, forget it, man. Just buy the SLV. It's the same thing. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.